Hello my planner family and welcome back to another plan with me video. This week is going to be for the second week of December and there's two more weeks till Christmas and three more weeks till New Year's. Can you believe that? Three more weeks of 2016 and then we're 2017 already. Like it just goes by so fast. I know I say this on my video because I feel like I'm doing this literally every day. But back to our plan with me. I'll be using my mystery kit B that was in my December mystery kit. Here I am just laying it all out for you guys to see. This is my December monthly view. The video for this monthly plan with me is already up. I think it was the last video I've done. There's been a few weeks that I haven't planned, not planned, but film a plan with me. And it's because, for example, like this week was my November mystery kit or December mystery kit. It was my December mystery kit, which I had to ship out. And it wasn't really much going on that week. And this week, I decided to just sit down by myself and just do my own plan with me. And that was using my... I like to say September mystery kit. And then here's my December, 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 <laughs> December monthly plan with me. And this was last week, yet I did not film too. Because I just felt I needed some me time and just to really sit down and plan this month slash this week because it's really, really busy for me with the shop, with the kids and with family and dinner and decor going on in my life right now. So this plan with me, we're gonna plan the 5th till the 11th. So let's get started. As I have mentioned before, this is my December Mystery Kit B in Glossy. And if you guys do plan to purchase a mystery kit from me, I do strongly, strongly, strongly suggest getting the glossy because it's just so much better. Like, honestly, I think if you go glossy, you won't go back, Matt. Seriously, that's what happened to me. Next, I'm going to put in my to-do headers on top. After I've done the header, I'll be doing the date covers. So I'm going to take this time and ask you guys, how are you guys doing this week or slash coping with the Christmas month this month? For us, we are hosting this year, so we decide to pull out all our Christmas decorations and just decorate. Like, honestly, thank God that I like planning and that I like to be organized. So we literally started the week before December to started decorating the house and we had our tree up on December 1st so that we can enjoy the tree. We do want to be prepared for this holiday because I know this year um, with the shop going on in the mystery kit it's going to be really really busy for me and not to mention that I would like to close the shop and enjoy one week off of holidays too so that I could fully be prepared for our dinner on Christmas day. So here you can see that I pulled out the date, little circle date covers and this is my first time including it into any kit, my Mr. Kit. And I really enjoy using it during the, for the week. I have at first thought I should use it for the date covers in the monthly view but I find that because this month for, for me in December was way too busy and there'll be too much sticker I decide to use it for my weekly view and I really really like it because my handwriting is really bad too so I think this works very well and on to my full boxes now I like to do my full boxes in the midsection the reason why I do it like that is that to separate my todays which are on top and my to do's which is on bottom because if I combine the two together I find it's way too heavy on like maybe the top part or the bottom section. So for me to cut them or to balance them out, that's why I like to do all my full boxes in the middle. And now it's the washi time. Here is the whole tube of one of the holiday washi tube, 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 tub, tube from the recollections collection, winter collection. And I'm just gonna pull out the ones that I don't think will fit for this layout and the ones that maybe will fit for this layout. 
And you know me, I have to cover my sidebar and my weekend section with scrapbook paper or something because I don't think that pink really matches with the spread and I don't really like the gold dots on the sidebar. So I pulled out the scrapbook paper also from Recollections. I think it was their winter cool winter theme. But I've decided to use this white and light blue snowflakes because it does match my snowflake theme in my spread and the color really really goes well. It complements the spread. I just went ahead and trimmed these down to size. Here I'm just measuring just to make sure that it does fit or decide which way it should go either or which pattern and just trim it down to make it fit and I'm going to tape it down with good old double sided tape that I got from the dollar store like this is my go to place the dollar store for any tape or any he see he is he I cannot speak today <laughs> sorry guys for any adhesive items or stationaries I do like to go to dollar store now on to the bottom washi. I've decided to use the pink just to balance off the pink from the top. And also going to do some layering effect with the other washies. So as you all know, I'm not really good with washi and this is where I find it so challenging because I cannot make up my mind. At first I thought I'll use, you know, the ones that I pick out. Then I'm like, hey, I could use the washi that came with the monthly kit. So, and then I did decide to use the washi that came with the monthly kit as you can see here. And for the mid parts, I felt that there's still too much blue so I thought I would somehow break the blue off with adding the pink but the pink was a bit too thick so I just trimmed it down into a thinner strip once I'm done with washing now it's time to finish off with the sidebar I'm just taking the page to trim the rest off. And lastly, my today's section. Before I start off with the today's, I like to place down my meal plans. Okay, Monday is going to be my Etsy day of fulfillment and orders shipping out. Uh, I think those are my last orders for the Black Friday sale. And I want to make sure that I get that done and grocery shop for the week. So Tuesday, my little girl has a rehearsal to go to for her Christmas concert and it's at a different location than her school. So just going to remind myself to drop her at a different location and also work on my designs and kit for that day and fulfill some regular Etsy order. Usually I like to dedicate one day as my outing day. So Wednesday will be my outing day where I like to go to the mailbox office, do some returns. So that's my must do is to do some return to collect some money back. Oh, the spending for this month is just insane with the Christmas shopping and the holidays and oh my goodness. My husband has hockey that day. So I'm gonna indicate that with a dumbbell because I don't have any more hockey stickers. And on Thursday, same thing, my daughter has a dress rehearsal that day at that different location. And Thursday, my husband and I is going to do a Christmas walk through our house to just to make a list of what we need to do and get for the holiday and for our Christmas dinner that's coming up. It's crazy that we're disorganized and that we do a walk through through our house. Friday will be super busy. It's my cut and print day that day and also decide to film a plan with me video and not to mention pick up some food 
for the weekend. Seeing that I'll be staying mostly home cutting and printing, I decided to do my laundry that day. This Saturday, my little one has a holiday camp at her school and we decided to sign her up for that. She's super excited because she gets to do Christmas crafts and Christmas baking with the school. And it's the way that school just wants to help out the parents so that they could take care of the child while you go Christmas shopping, especially Christmas shopping for her gift. At the bottom section of the weekend, I like to make a list for what I need to do for next week just in case I did not accomplish it during the week. This year I like to do some Christmas cookie baking so I'm just going to make three different types of cookies for this Christmas. Anything that is Christmas related I like to indicate that with a Christmas theme sticker so that I know that it's for the holiday. This Sunday is the last day for the January Mystery Kit pre-sale or until it's sold out. Last I've checked I have nine left so once those nine are gone and today is Friday that's it. I won't be relisting any more mystery kit till next year. Next, I'm just going to post my social media stickers, Instagram, YouTube, anything that I need to do for that. Okay, I think I'm done with my today. Next, I'm going to work on my sidebar here. I'm just flipping through the Mambi Seasonal sticker book just to see what I could put up at the top of the corner didn't want to do a full box so I decided to use my decorative stickers and make something out of it. Just flipping through all my Mambi sticker book and I always go back to this quote book because it's very very well done this quilt book and I love it and I always use it mostly in my spread so I decided to use this gold foil oh hello sticker because I think it just looks so pretty I had two sidebar left that I didn't use for my monthly plan with me so I decided to use one of them as my sidebar reminders and I'm just going to finish it off with some decorative stickers So the kit also comes with a free postcard that I do want to use as a journaling card. I was playing around with the idea if I wanted to put it on a backing, but I decided not to. I filled up my week off camera and I'm just going to punch some holes and put them into my planner. And there we go. Thank you guys for watching this plan with me video. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all your support and watching my videos throughout this year. Like it's insane, I didn't know how or what to expect, but you guys are just, just amazing. Thank you. And those who just joined, welcome, welcome to my channel and I hope you guys will enjoy videos to come because I love doing them and just making them and filming them. Once again, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Happy planning. Bye.